gave me a new style You changed my life It's all because of you All because of you You make me smile You gave me a new heart Gave me a new heart You make me smile It's all because of you All because of you All because of you
Church, welcome to Sunday Worship. Have you ever broke something that just can need, cannot be fixed perfectly? Just like this. Today we're going to talk about something that was completely broken. Can you guys guess? Glasses? No. A bone? No. Cell phone? Hopefully not. Today we're going to talk about sin. Did you know that sin separates us from God? Because of our sins, relationship between God and us is completely broken. But here's the good news. God had a perfect rescue plan for us. Do you guys want to find out more? Well, let's check it out. Stories of the Bible Adam and Eve Sin This is Adam Hey And this is Eve Hey Who were the first people on earth They lived in the Garden of Eden Which was a beautiful place That had everything they needed Adam and Eve took care of the animals And could eat from any of the trees in the garden Except for one this was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and God told them not to eat from this tree. There were lots of animals in the garden, but the serpent was the most clever of all the wild animals God had made. Hmm. One day, he asked the woman, Hey Eve! Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of these trees in the garden? Eve said that they were able to eat from all of the fruit trees except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. For God said, you must not eat or even touch it. If you do, you will die. No, that can't be. You won't die, said the serpent. God knows that as soon as you eat it, you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. <gasps> oh. The woman was convinced she saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam and he ate it too. At that moment, their eyes were opened. Oh no! And they suddenly realized they weren't wearing clothes and were embarrassed. So they sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, Adam and Eve heard God walking about in the garden. Hi! So they hid from God among the trees. Then God called to Adam, Where are you? Adam said, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? Adam said, it was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then God asked Eve, What have you done? The serpent tricked me, she replied. That's why I ate it. Then God punished the serpent by making it so he would crawl on his belly from then on. He told Eve that she would have great pain in her life. Then God said to Adam that because he listened to Eve and did not obey what God had told him to do, his life would be very difficult. He would have to work hard to get food to eat, God said, for you were made from dust, and to dust you will return. Then God made them clothing from the animals, but God knew that Adam and Eve could no longer live in the garden because of their sin, so he sent them away and closed up the garden. Adam and Eve lived in a beautiful garden called Eden. Things were looking great. Adam and Eve enjoyed all the great things that God created. Can you imagine living in the perfect garden? Fresh and delicious fruit everywhere, always perfect weather and having a perfect relationship with God. God gave them one command, 
Genesis chapter two, verse sixteen. It says, "And the Lord God commanded the man, 'You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die.'" Adam and Eve had a one rule, just one rule to keep. Do you think they kept the rule by obeying to God? Well, let's read our Bible. Genesis chapter three, verse one tells us that the serpent was the most sneakiest of all. Oh man, I knew it. You know why? Because they always go. Sneakies. <clears throat> Anyways, one day the serpent went to Eve and asked, "Did God really say you can't eat from any tree in the garden? We can eat the fruit from the trees in the garden, but God told us not to eat from the tree in the middle of the garden." He said that if we eat the fruit or touch it, we will die. No, 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 no! You won't die. In fact, you'll know good and evil, just like God. What? That the tree, and it did look delicious. It really looked like it would make her wise, so she took the fruit, and she ate it. And she gave some fruit to her husband Adam, and he ate them too. What do you think happened? Their eyes opened, and they noticed that they were naked. So Adam and Eve. Sewed together a fig leaf and made clothes for themselves. And that night, both Adam and Eve they hid from God because they knew that they did something terribly wrong. When God looked for Adam, He said, "I'm hiding because I'm naked." God knew why, but He still asked Adam and said, "Who told you that you are naked?" And Adam blamed on Eve. He said, "This woman made me eat it." Eve, and Eve blamed the serpent and said, "The snake tricked me." God said that because of what the serpent did and the disobedience from Adam and Eve, things will be changed a lot. Because of their disobedience, Eve would have more pain when she had children, and Adam would have to work extra hard to to get the food from the ground. And the snake will crawl on their belly and be an enemy to the woman. Adam and Eve' disobedience from God changed everything. Sin separated Adam and Eve from God. Oh no! This is terrible. Does this mean that God doesn't love them anymore? No. Although Adam and Eve disobeyed and sinned, God still loved them and made them clothes out of animal skin. But there was still more consequences. They were kicked out of the perfect garden, and they were never allowed to go back. Church. Sin separates us from God. God is perfect and holy, and we are filled with sin. We dis disobey God all the time. Now, does this mean that God doesn't love us, and that we can never come close to God? No, God still loves us. God's love is never ending. And this is why God sent Jesus to this world to be the bridge between us and God. Jesus lived a perfect, sinless, and holy life. Only through Jesus we can be saved. 
Sin separates us from God, but Jesus died on the cross on our behalf to be the bridge between, between us and God. Jesus gave up his life for us so that we can come close to God. So how can we be saved? You can never save yourself. You can never make your, your sins go away. So how? You can come to God by believing that Jesus Christ is your Savior, that Jesus died and rose again on the cross for your sins. The gift of salvation is given to us. Jesus died on the cross to save us. Through Jesus Christ, we can come close to God. Let's receive the gift of salvation and be saved. God's plan of rescue is perfect. So please accept them. Amen. Let's pray. Dear God, we are all sinners and we disobey your ways all the time. There is no way for us to fix our own problem. We cannot save ourselves. We know and believe that only Jesus Christ can save us. Thank you, Lord, for your wonderful rescue plan. And thank you, Father, for your awesome, never-ending love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's it today, church. And I'll see you guys next time. But before I let you guys go, we are going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!